MKS ENI QL6513A 6500 watt 13.56 megahertz RF generator. The SurePower RF generator line incorporates state-of-the-art RF topologies, patent intrinsic power amplifier protection, improved design margins, and embedded VI probe sensors to achieve the highest reliability, reproductibility, and accuracy of any generator on the marketplace. It is powered by 208 three phase, a 40 amp service. Let me take you around in the back and show you some of the connections. This is the power connection for the three phase service. Have a water connection in, a water connection out. This is the RF output. Now this little box is very important. This is an interlock box. As long as this interlock box is in place, the interlock circuit is completed and the RF generator will run. Also, it also requires the second interlock that we have placed right here, which is just a normal set of pins. This is uh, the analog uh, interface input, and this is the main power breaker here. To operate, we throw the main breaker, and we'll go around the front. The system takes approximately uh, one minute to initialize. Once all of the interlocks are satisfied, the interlock light will go out. <clears throat> now, this particular model has been uh, configured to work specifically with the PC control. So there are no front um, controls that can be used. Uh, it can use either Ethernet, RS-232, or it has an analog interface. interface. Uh, what we've done here to test the unit fully is I have made a analog interface simulator that will allow you to run the RF generator uh, through its entire range of set points. Give you a demonstration. We've also hooked up our old reliable bird watt meter that always gives us a good second reference as well. Turn on the RF, the RF light will go on. We turn on the set point adjustment and we can now go through the different ranges. And we'll start by jumping up through a thousand at a time. Here's the scale here. On the bottom here is our scale in watts. There's a thousand. We'll run it up to 2,000, approximately. And we'll run it up to 3,000. 4,000, 5,000, and unfortunately I don't have a full range on my meter, but we'll run it all the way up to the maximum of 6,500. And you can't go any farther than that, that's where it is, it is held. The reason for the uh, second button to turn it on and off is Let's say you set this at a particular um, wattage and you didn't want to turn this up and down, you could just turn this button off here. The unit would still stay hot and you could just turn it on. Uh, this unit was uh, constructed specifically for this customer, 
So he could run this manually, as well as he can also get in contact with the company and uh, obtain the software to run it as well.